Hello everyone and welcome to another fun-filled and information-packed episode of the Techno Dinosaur Meets the IT Geek. I am Willie Nicholl, the Techno Dinosaur, and I'm called that because I'm technologically challenged. However, I'm also a personal development life coach based in Troon, South Ayrshire, UK. Now today, as usual, my partner in crime, my compadre, David Logan, is with us. So how are you and where are you today, David? Hi, Wally. I'm great. I'm David Logan, the IT geek, the guy who takes the jargon out of technology for you, the home worker. Keep it simple, keep it short. I'm based here in Annan, Wally, southwest of Scotland, UK. Great day to be alive and kicking. Quite so, David, quite so. So the topic for today is actually very relevant because five minutes before I come on, I got a little pop-up on my computer to say that my antivirus had detected no threats, so we're all good. However, we have talked previously about antivirus, uh, anti-malware, and so on to protect your computer. But let's say that you don't have that, or it hasn't worked. What are the signs that your computer has been infected, if that's the word, by a virus? Fantastic, Wally. Thank you for that. So I'm going to take you through five scenarios um, which can show that your, not just your computer, but your device may be infected. So this can be for everyday news. So what number one is your, your computer, laptop, smartphone is very slow. Number two, your computer, laptop, smartphone is very hot. I can remember you saying that one time. You keep seeing ads and pop-ups on your system. Number four is my device keeps crashing. And the fifth sign is I get warnings from antivirus software. Interesting enough, what you just said there. So I'll run through them very quickly. So the first one is your device is running very slow. If it suddenly stops and slows down, it may be a sign that there's something wrong. Certain malware types. You've got these crypto miners nowadays and botnets will overload your device. They effectively steal your resources from your device. That's how it slows down. Point two, your device is very hot. Another indication. Have you ever had a device, your computer has made a lot of noise? The chances are the fans are going PR'd, that the inside they're working overtime to keep electronic fans cool. Us humans, we sweat. Computers, they need fans. Why is it overworking? It's because the central processor has been pushed by something. It's been used, no, it's been used intensively. And it could be malware that's that's on the system to push it that. You keep seeing ads and pop-ups. Number three, you keep seeing ads and pop-ups. Pop-ups, additional tabs open automatically on your device. Have you ever seen that? Classic sign of malware. The virus will automatically load websites as part of an ad fraud scam or try to trigger your computer and downloading more malware. So if you've got a load of ads, pop-ups popping up, beware. Give me a shout. Number four. Your device keeps crashing. So sometimes if your device is unresponsive, or spontaneously reboots it itself, it may be a virus. Now, I know in the early days of Windows 10, it used to restart without any warning, which was not a lot of fun, especially when you had 50 computers to look after. You can imagine severe pressure, but potentially that could be a virus. At the time, it was Windows 10. So... The device restart crashes because it can be an extreme 
version of the overheating issue. Your computer resources become so overloaded that it's to shut down, to cool down. Fans can't take up. Number five, which is where you come in. You got a good sign today, you antivirus. Everything is clear. But do you know, did it do a full scan or did it do a quick scan? A quick scan is it checks the critical areas. A full scan scans everything on your computer. So you're talking about in the middle of maybe a five-minute scan, but it doesn't take a lot of resource. Or it could be a five-hour scan. Depends what you have on your hard disk. But what this is saying here is that if you get warnings from the antivirus that you've got a virus, you've got um, malware, or you could have a Trojan, most of the mainstream antivirus software will give you the option to clean it, delete it, or ignore it. Your choice. <laughs> and that do. is the five options. So I'll run through them quickly. So the five things to look out for is your device is very slow because it's working hard. It's something that's, it's something that's overtaking your device that's making it work. Your de number two, your device is very hot. Why? Because it's having to work, it's having to push itself. It's like exertion, like the human body. When you go running, you've done running after brisk walking. We, we perspire. The computer can perspire as well, but it's moving fast. And the fans, you hear the fans go. It keeps number three. You see ads, pop-ups. That is a sure sign. My tip here, unplug your computer from the network, from the internet browser, from the, not the internet browser, disconnect it from the router. So there's no, no any traffic coming in or out. Phone me, we'll get it, connect, we'll get it sorted for you, one way or another way, we'll get, we'll get it looked at for you. Number four, your device keeps crashing. It's overheated. Oh, it's just completely unresponsive, and you can't. And it just says, <coughs> "I've had enough. Let's restart." The final one is the antivirus software. It'll say, "I've got problems," but beware. The biggest thing about viruses is to not pick on that link. Only pick on a trusted link, whether it's a website or an email. Make sure you go to the legit website, phone that legit company or personal contact if we click on it. That's me for today. Excellent, David. Thank you very much. So, in a nutshell, if you get any one of these five signs, um, maybe with, apart from the fifth one, the first four, what's the first protocol? What's the first thing you do? Switch your computer off or your device off? disconnect it from the router, but what should you do immediately to prevent further damage? I would say initially switch off. Give it a couple hours and then switch back on, see what happens. If it's still playing up, phone somebody like myself. I'm at the end of the phone, I'm contactable, and I can tell you the next steps. Fantastic. Thank you, David. Right. I hope that has been of great uh, benefit to you, viewers. What to do if you see any signs that your device has been infected by a virus. Thanks again, David. I'll just sign off now by saying to the viewer, have fun, stay safe, stay well. Goodbye for now. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. Remember, search for the techno dinosaur meets the IT geek. Find our videos, enjoy it, spread the word, spread the love. Have a great week. And as well as says, don't be too serious, have some fun. Have a great week, everybody. Cheers from us both. Thank you.